Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on Akuma MC Scapluck. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at my new form. We did unlock a new mastery, so we're going to be taking a look at that. It's way better than the last ones. And we're just making so much more money and progress from it. So stay tuned to the very end because this form is pretty insane. Okay, so we did go ahead and open up the crate keys that we did get from a key all. So we got some pretty good spawners and some ranks. We did get an XP pounce that I went to go ahead and open. And yeah, so the recording paused, so sorry for that. But I did claim some of the value tickets that we did get too so we're at about 748k value right now and so we were gonna go put the spawners down but we're gonna wait till a later bit just so we don't have so just so we don't waste any time in this video and in our current mob farm we do have these auto cell chests and currently both of them have around 340 mil each which is pretty insane and that adds up to about 700 mil in total but we're gonna wait on claiming that until we get a booster so we're gonna get more money from that but let's just go straight to the farm let me get my hoe because that is the that is the tool that we do need for the actual farm, it is the nether wart farm. We are currently on the nether wart mastery, so that is pretty good. And let's go ahead and find the hoe. And this is my current hoe. It's not the best. We can definitely get some better enchants on it. I'm pretty sure we can apply this on it too, the value ticket finder, which is actually a really good enchant. But yeah, so let's go. So we were on the mountains, I'm pretty sure. And now we're on the nether wart. We do have a small little farm going here. And yeah, I do want to go ahead and get an inventory because I do want to show how much they sell for. But as you can see, I'm getting an insane amount of nether wart from this because nether warts actually drop you more like they don't just drop one from breaking in they actually drop a few so if we go ahead and click we're gonna get about three from that which is pretty insane so yeah our inventory should fill pretty fast i'm pretty sure they sell for lower than the like potatoes and stuff but they you just get an insane amount so yeah and our archaeologist enchant which gives us basically some more gems is actually activating a lot here so we're gonna be getting more gems which is pretty useful for our mob farms and stuff like that but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and grind it till we get a full inventory because i want to go ahead and show how much that sells for and we should be able to get it pretty fast and I'm pretty sure nether wart is probably one of the fastest crops that grow. So yeah, you don't need a big farm because the nether wart grows back pretty fast. But I'm just going to continue farming until I do go ahead and get a full inventory. So yeah, it should be pretty soon. I probably shouldn't have to I probably shouldn't have to pause the video, but yeah, we're about to get it in a few seconds here. So let's just continue grinding and just a few more and it looks like we should have okay. Let's do slash sell all and 44k which is actually really insane 44k for that little amount of time of farming nether wart is actually a pretty good it's actually a pretty good price that we did get from that so let's go ahead and check the shop to see how much each of them actually sell for so we go ahead and go into the um farming right here they do sell for 20 each okay i thought it was like really really little but 20 is actually a really good price because you do just get so many nether wars from farming i do want to go ahead and check these slash is masteries because let's see we do need 50 000 nether wart, which is actually an insane amount but we are at 6k and each inventory is about 2k or so and as you can see we did get an inventory pretty fast so honestly 50k should take a decent amount of grinding but we can definitely get there pretty fast if we do keep grinding and then the next is sugarcane and then cactus after that and cactus you can automate and stuff which is probably one of the best ways to make money once you do get to cactus unlock one thing i do want to go ahead and get focused on is getting a better hoe or just better enchants on my hoe because currently it, we do have some but it's just not looking the best we could definitely get a better hoe so if we take a look at slash ah let's go ahead and see if we could buy any books we don't currently have that much money but let's just go ahead and see and honestly these aren't looking really like some uh, farming enchants so yeah that's the only page okay no this this page but yeah there's not really any farming enchants in here so i guess we're just gonna have to use this one for now the one enchant that i do like is the crop crusher and that basically breaks the crops in a 5x5 five five radius and i think it's honestly probably one of the best hoe enchants on the server here and if you guys didn't know this is actually a new island the old one i was playing on was it was just not as good as this one so yeah we do have some of the higher masteries and higher skills and stuff let's take a look at ice perks real quick and we did get our farming skill leveled up i want to take a look at that a little bit later but let's see the crop growth speed is um it's at a level four right now and to go ahead and increase it we do need to earn 10k xp from harvesting crops which honestly shouldn't be that hard i don't think we're at about 4k right now and let's see we do have the spawner 8k radius at level three and island size max and member limit perk max okay so we do have some pretty good ice perks on this island which is pretty good let's go ahead and sell all this nether wart for a decent amount and we did get an ultimate airdrop i just saw and honestly i think this is gonna be very good so let's go ahead and straight open up this let's just place it down right here and hopefully we can get something good from this airdrop honestly let's see so we got two holy pet eggs 64 storm keys 36 more 
um 12 mining robot eggs okay we're definitely gonna take that we got some spider spawners and a chat color bundle which is all right i guess but let's go ahead and open up these eggs or these pet eggs let's see if we can get anything good from them so they're hatching we got a zeus pet and a supercharged pet both level rare so they're not that good but let's see holy zeus pet has the power to smite all nearby mobs killing them not bad for farming i guess or grinding and then the holy supercharged pet which has the ability to supercharge nearby crops increasing their drops um i guess this could be good for farming but we do have some other pets i think it's either in our pv or our chest over here let's go ahead and take a look so we do have a masterful xp pet i think i should actually keep this one when we are farming and grinding because that is really good for getting more xp so we can go ahead and enchant more enchants on our hose and stuff and just all our gear but yeah we're gonna definitely hold on to these mining robots because if you take a look over here we do have a massive mining farm or cobblestone thingy going on over here with all these robots so yeah we're definitely gonna have to expand with these robots but that's for a later video i might just do a whole video showcasing these because as you can see there's 20 mil in that just over there and over here there's around 145 mil which is actually insane i didn't know we had that much in there but yeah so total on all those chests that we have selling stuff we have probably about a bill which is actually pretty insane so yeah and we did also get about 150 mil i honestly don't know from what probably the airdrop but we're definitely gonna take that i mean i don't know where we got it from but we're gonna take it but i think the main goal now is just to focus on getting this is mastery up because once we do get to the higher crops let me check just ice mastery once we get to like cactus i'm pretty sure the top one so let's take a look at this shop see how much each sells for and each sells for 120 okay yeah cactus is definitely probably the most insane way to make money because i know people can make pretty big cactus farms on servers and honestly selling for 120 each is pretty insane because you can just afk it you don't have you don't even have to manually grind it so yeah cactus is going to be insane once we do get there so we definitely need to keep grinding out our is masteries just if we want to keep getting more and more money but i think i'm going to wrap things up there i'm sorry if, if today's video was a little bit short i've been a little bit busy but i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe for more future videos here on akuma mc and i'll see you in the next one peace out